The way optical glass has been made and cut hasn't really changed in the past 400 years. And as you can probably expect from that, that means that we haven't seen any massive leap forward in lens design and so forth. But there is something around the corner that could possibly change things. But it has a surprising limitation. So the way that glass has been made and turned into lenses, it's the same way of doing it that we've been doing it for 400 years, ever since Galileo's time, really. It's where we basically polish the lens into its final form and shape. However, there's this new technology out there called CNC lays, which it's been around for about 30, 40 years now. And this here is one of them, this is one of mine. And these machines are getting so good now, not this one obviously, but you know, there are machines out there that are getting so good that they can now cut a piece of glass using diamonds. Now with the old cutting and grinding and polishing technique that has been used for you know, the past 400 years, there's a bunch of limitations. Number one, you have to produce very large batches of whatever it is you're making in order to make money off of it. Number two, the types of employees that you need to make these things, to make the molds and so forth that you know, basically polish the lenses into their final shape, you know, that's an incredibly art form of science, okay? It takes years and years of training. Uh, some people spend 15, 20 years getting good at this stuff. And then there's also another limitation of it is just the setup time it's involved to basically make a production line that can start producing a bunch of optical glass for let's say a lens or a telescope, well guess what, it takes a lot of time to get geared up and tooled up for something like this. Now a CNC lathe though actually kind of eliminates all three of those issues. Number one, doing one-off parts is very simple and very easy. You just you know, input the values into the machine and the machine will actually cut it out. Another thing is that this doesn't take a huge amount of technical prowess or skill, I should say, from artisans who, you know, have been doing this for many, many years. And then lastly, that limitation of like small batches. And, and by the way, this is something that is really relevant to the camera industry because the camera industry, we're seeing the market shrink all the time except for astrophotography, that's the one section of photography that is not shrinking. But anyways, we're seeing camera lens markets shrink all the time and CNC lays could cut out optical glass in smaller batches and do it more affordably than you could with the older traditional techniques. Now, there is one catch though, there's this one thing that's actually keeping this type of technology, this way of cutting optical glass from taking over, and surprisingly, it's computers. Computers are not fast enough yet. All right, let's go to the whiteboard and I'll explain. So right now, when CNC machines work, okay, they don't follow a logarithmic curve. Let's say we've got like an aspherical lens element here that we're trying to cut out. As it follows that path, CNC machines don't follow those paths in a logarithmic curve fashion, okay? What they have to do, and I'm going to magnify this and exaggerate it really close, is they have to go in little steps because they're digital, okay? You know, they, they work digitally, they're working with ones and zeros and so forth. And so basically it has to make these little tiny steps in order to actually follow a curve. And computers aren't fast enough because the number of these steps that are required is astronomical, okay? So in order for optical glass to be of good enough quality, let's say you take a human hair and you split that human hair by its width 1,000 times, and you take one of those parts and you split it four more times. That's the kind of size we're talking about here. And in order for CNC machines to follow these kinds of lines and cut out optical glass requires massive amounts of computing power, which we don't have yet. <laughs> so yeah, computers are the limitation that's kind of holding this back right now. However, it is coming, it's getting closer, and we will soon see the stepwise progression of CNC machines as their tools 
with the cutting tools, follow these, you know, optical glass surface paths, you know, eventually that limitation is going to be gone. Surface accuracy uh, that has to be held for these types of lenses, they measure in microns and their surface roughness is measured in nanometers, okay, extremely, extremely fine. But we do have CNC machines that are now capable of doing this. It's we're just waiting for the computers to catch up and get fast enough so that they can actually process whatever the engineers come up with in their minds as far as lens design goes. So I kind of hope you find this interesting because uh, the way I see this, this could change a lot of things in the optical glass industry. It could mean that smaller batches of lenses and so forth are more economical. And it could also mean that you could, let's say you have a telescope and you want a telescope that is f 6.18 okay and it needs to have this exact focal length and this exact aperture and it needs to be made of this type of glass well you could just send those specifications off to your telescope company and they could custom make you a telescope for that specific size and it means that smaller batches of custom stuff might be more possible in the future so in the description of this video i'm going to link to an article where this kind of first appeared on my radar it's on a machining magazine but if you want to go ahead and read it and kind of see some of the, the hurdles and technological stuff that you know companies are basically trying to have to overcome but it certainly is there's cool things to come in optics someday uh, we could see the elimination of a lot of different optical errors uh, could be completely eliminated because this type of technology you know cutting stuff out with cnc lays it allows for much more radical and more weird, if you will, shapes that just you know, aren't really possible yet with the old traditional polishing techniques. And yeah, the, the future is kind of interesting looking, you know, if this type of thing takes off and, you know, becomes mainstream. We'll see.